this is AAR videos and as usual this video is in HD but this is the first video to be in true 1080p HD with our new camera. Hello there, today I'll be reviewing the JLS 2011B otherwise known as the G18. Now when you first open up the box you'll see the gun, a pack of cheap BBs and the unjamming rods right under it. I bought this gun for $9 on airsplat.com and I have to say I'm decently surprised with the quality. It's extremely well built. The plastic's similar to my $200 JG G36, which I'll review in a later video. But it's a very well built gun for $9. I'm very well surprised. And here's the slide, the trigger, the safety lever, which I'll tell you what that's about later. And the blowback feature on this gun is powered by four AAA batteries, which you put right there. And there, it has a 15 round banana style clip. Now when you first try firing this gun, it just does that. You may think it's broken, but actually, to properly fire the gun, you have to hold down the safety lever and pull the trigger, otherwise it won't do anything. I'll show you the blowback feature right now. Alright, here's semi-auto. Now this gun has two firing modes, semi-auto and full auto. There's a lever right there, you just pull it back and it goes to full auto. crazy fast, but it's decently fast. If it went any faster, it'd be too fast because already it empties, it empties the clip in four to five seconds. Here's the unjamming rod. It's, it's plastic like usual. And in other reviews of this gun, people have been saying it accepts 0.12 and 0.15 BBs and some people are complaining 0.15 does not exist. But actually, this gun actually indeed came with 0.15 BBs right there. Now even though this gun looks very good and it's built very well, there are some downsides to it. it. The feet per second is only 100, which is very low, and its range is only 20 to 30 feet. Although when I fired it, I think it's around 175 FPS and 40, 50 feet range. Although this gun is brand new, it might wear down over time and reduce to 100 feet per second. Overall, I think this is a very good buy for $9. I wouldn't recommend it for airsoft competition or competitive play. But as a movie prop or just for fun, because the blowback is fun to play with, I would definitely recommend it. I bought two of them on Airsplat for just $9. It's a very cheap gun. You won't be dissatisfied with it. And this is my review of the JLS 2011B. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. If you're like me, you hate annotations showing up in all your YouTube videos. So, as a part of AAR videos, we're leaving a specific part of our video just for annotations. 